So, hello guys, uh, today we are going to do the first video on the exercise number 6. So, let me switch once again. I will uh, follow all the steps shown here. All of these steps. Okay, so let me switch to robot structural analysis more impress 3d frame over here now we need to use the european section database we need to use the european section database okay let me go to just i need to check if that is okay okay it's fine so first operation let me choose bars and now the bar type will be column remember that the bar type is important if you want to perform the design not just the calculation or the structural analysis but also the design you need to establish the bar type now let me pick an HEV 340 I don't have here I'm going to select from here Europe, HEV, it's this one here, add, close, and now I'm going to define the coordinates, zero, 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 six. Let's to check over here the section, and now eight, Zero zero eight zero six. Oh, sorry. No, I don't. I don't want to drag. I'm so sorry. Let me just redo that from here. Eight zero zero eight zero six. Add. Now let me change this a beam and pick an HEB 300 okay over here let me type the coordinates now which will be zero zero sorry zero zero six and eight zero six okay there we have our structure now let me choose, let me change the layout to supports and pick fixed support, current selection, choose these supports over here, these nodes, nodes number one and number three, apply. Okay, now let uh, me switch to start once again. I'm going to make sure that this is turned on, also the number the bars and the supports okay as you may see over here we are in a good path I guess now I'm going to press Control A this will select everything all the structure all the bars and all the nodes and I'm going to edit edit once again vertical mirror and select the plane location this is going to do a vertical mirror as you may see the plane location will be 8 just as it is and I'm going to execute that there we go we have duplicate the structure with this axis of symmetry okay I'm going to close I'm going to loads right now and I'm going to define the loads asked in the exercise well the first load is just that load and I'm going to add remember that by courtesy every time the first load case robot always defines always defines the self weight always the first load case robot always do this by courtesy okay now I'm going to select uh, wind 
case and I'm going to press F two times one and two I'm going to select and define a live load I'm going to press F live load number one okay now let's let's define the loads over here in this box so I'm going to like the second load case which is wind and this will be a nodal force over here it will be 100 it will be applied over this node node number two and it will be a force in the positive x direction 100 kilonewton enter okay there we go uh, now let me switch to wind to I'm going to define a uniform load I'm going to select bar number four which is this column okay and I'm going to define a load of minus 15 kilo find here as you may see okay there we go now let me select live load one select bar number three and five it will be also a uniform load number this beam and this beam okay three and five and this load will have 20 kilo newton downwards minus 20 kilo newton okay well, I'm so sorry minus 20 kilo newton there we go i'm going to click on the viewer i'm going to press ctrl a to select everything i'm going to make a translation i can i can make this by edit edit over copy or you may also press alt e e m okay i'm going to define this this way zero 10 0 execute now let me go to view menu projection and choose this one here there we go there we have our structure if you notice everything is copy loads everything when you copy when you make a translation everything is copy okay not just the geometry but also the loads as you may see now let me switch back to bars and on the bar type I'm also picking a beam now and I want an HEV 300 okay I'm going to press on the beginning field and I'm going to make this by typing 16 0 six press tab 16 10 and also six press enter okay now let me go to sections and materials i'm going to define a new one over here okay a new section I want the angle family over here and I want a C A C A E 70 by 7. Okay. Let me choose the 70 by 7. Here they are. Let me press add. Going back, I'm going to close this, I'm going back to bars once again. Okay, have you noticed if you noticed the section is defined here? because I defined I, I defined it previously so it is copied to this to this place okay uh, now I'm going to type 16 0 6 and 16 10 0 and press enter and now 16 10 
six and sixteen zero zero enter. I'm going back to start. I'm going to select all these three bars defined over here. This two bracing and also the beam. And if I go from right to left, everything that this box touches is selected. I'm going to select it this way, okay? And I'm going to edit menu, edit translate, or Alt E E M once again. And uh, on the number of repetitions, I'm going to define it two. And over here, I'm going to do minus eight, zero, zero, and there we go. Okay. So this was the first part of this exercise. Our structure is defined, as you may see. So stay tuned and thank you very much.